Norway chicken. How will you compare both of <laughs> I think uh, from Norway, uh, Norway to check uh, it's, it's a good transaction, but uh, in Norway, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a kind of different style of play and uh, the cold there is too much as well. Uh, you need to adapt in the, in the weather and, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's a good experience because uh, I think every young kid uh, dream is to start from somewhere and uh, this experience uh, is amazing. But here, uh, the culture and uh, the football, you know, uh, the atmosphere and everything is different, you know, it's like another level. But in Norway, you know, it's a place that you can uh, work on yourself and become a, uh, a great football player so that you can move to uh, to work to, to, to the place here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you, you talked about weather. And um, I've been in Paris for a while now. So when you talk about Scandinavian countries, Norway, Denmark, Sweden, the first thing that comes to mind is in a little bit. And I know Nigerian footballers like Light of Bonnie Fins, Akoa Dance, Was there a point where the weather was very, very difficult, challenging for you? Or was there a point, a moment of like, I beg, make this match for you? No, just enter. <laughs> a lot of times, <laughs> many times, many times, many times. We, there, there was a time we played a game. I think around 27 of uh, December. Uh, I didn't, I didn't go home for Christmas. Uh, I was there because we have this qualification to the first league. I was uh, on loan to Sunderland at that moment. Uh, it was really a difficult moment. You know, uh, I think I was on the pitch, but at the same time, I'm just hoping. You know, I was hoping like. Uh, when will this game be over? And I remember the other time we played the idea of Boniface in Bodo Climate. It was so cold. I asked him after the game, I have to say, ah, Boniface, how far now? This, this, how will I even play for this weather? Because the outside is more colder than, 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 than where I was. So it's, it's a little bit something that <laughs> I won't say is easy because uh, it's not. I'm not going to say it's easy because but you need to have one and a half season here. And uh, you've, you've, you've seen almost everything with that thing, but you've stayed in Wolf and it's a European competition. You've played against top teams. You're not a slab guy. You've played against Sparta. I'm sure that's one of the biggest things in Czech, if I'm not mistaken. So, what's the experience, the very big game? Is this something for you that, yes, you look forward to your time? Would you consider it to be the biggest debut big game in the in your career? Ah, uh, I would say, first of all, Sparta is not uh, bigger than us uh, because, uh, for sure, Slavia is always uh, the toughest in Europe for me. And uh, uh, the derby has been a, a great, uh, great dazzle. Uh, it's been it's been great since when I when I arrived here. And sometimes still uh, we're uh, it's good, and sometimes we have a, little, uh, a couple of mistakes happen. Uh, the derby and the county and all, all all sort of things. But you know, we just learn and we move on. But here in Czech, I think um, well, uh, I've really, really enjoyed my time since I came here, and uh, I had a very good experience. There are a lot of things from the Czech people, even back in good football, you know. So yeah, I think for for the time being that I've been here, honestly, I don't know. I'm not gonna complain because it's really been amazing, especially with the Slavia. Uh, the Slavia team, uh, the mindset and everything they have is so amazing, you know? Uh, you know. So what we play, we just play with our heart and the love that the fans have for us as well. Mm, so the Mildebi, is that the biggest in your career so far? Slavia is and Sparta. Ah, it was, it's, it's, it's one of the biggest because I've uh, played one derby in uh, Norway as well, like Camp um, well, Arena with... Uh, uh, really strong. Uh, it's a it's a good one as well. Uh, the atmosphere is amazing, and uh, this this one too is really <laughs> an amazing uh, derby. To be honest, because uh, it's it's all about fighting, you know. We and the uh, Spartans, uh, we we are, we are not uh, on the same page, and uh, for we, I think uh, we like playing good football. Uh, but it's what we stand for. <laughs> well, you love the and brothers in Spartans. Yeah. So do you guys all, you know, go about the dead thing, you know, check on yourself and say tomorrow, boy, I'll be sure you. No, absolutely. for me, I don't I don't even speak about it, you know, when when it's time to play, 
I just uh, I'm just ready to play football. Yeah. My mind is to to go out there to give out my best every single day, not just the derby. Because for me, I played every game with hundred uh, percent. Some games are good and some games are bad because uh, that is what makes you a good player. Because you you learn from everything you do. You know, every match you play is not going to be fantastic all the time. Uh, but I think the derby as well. I don't uh, take it as if it's bigger than uh, everything. It's important, but every game is important to us, you know, because every point matters in the league. And our our, our main goal is to win every game for Slavia. You know, every game to win every game for the fouls to win every game. For ourselves, for our family, that is the reason why we are here. And uh, the derby is important, but at the same time, every game is a fighter. So every player needs to give all in every game because every game is a fighter. Every game is a tar. Here is like that. You know, when you put on the shirt, uh, red and white, you need to know that. So it's important. Oh, you did you a sit second on the mug? Just um, spot out at it. Uh, I'm sure you guys want to your team. First position in the trophy. Um, so is this something that is what he said about the big return playing in mind? When is this something that will probably the season for you to win that trophy? Yeah, I think for me, uh, that is my dream. I think if there is anything I think about every day, is to be able to see that I can spam the front of the crowd here as Latvia to raise that trophy. And uh, we celebrate with the fans and have fun. This, uh, now in Taiwan, we delete and uh, everybody's fighting. If you can see Pilsen is fighting. Yeah, everybody's fighting to come up as well. So for me, it's, it's very important for us to be able to get the train. All right, now let's talk about the Nigeria. But as you have been, um, you have been strapped right yet. You have brought no army to Germany. At some point, you put it um, to my casual. And uh, I think both you and the uh, Sin B or the first official and some couple of my GFs. How would you see him? Having them in the team, how did it help? Or has it helped you settling down and, you know, also having the Nigerian and brothers on this team? What does that dream to you as, as, as a person? I think uh, one of the favorite person that would say that I met is people like, uh, I think, Fusilla. And also, he's a really great person. Uh, he's a brother. He's a genuinely brother, you know. We also... Uh, so much in another. No. When I came in, I like, really got me a lot to settle down. And he put me a lot of things on my time in Serbia as well. So I think uh, when, when I went up getting here, he was amazing to play with him though. He, he makes me feel like I can run, run many meters for the club. Because when I watch him play, I see the way he runs to the uh, to the goal, goal to goal. The ball was from front and back. So it gives me the motivation, you know, when I stay in the back and I see the way he fight. I really enjoyed it and I was like, okay, he give it all, I give it all. And so I think he has been a big inspiration for us to learn our game, yeah. And uh, an amazing person outside the pitch as well. So I can for me, uh, I did see so this guy uh, learning for a long time, not just hearing right I uh, know he's from Nigeria, so we have been together playing in the national team. Well, that junior national team. So I think they're they are, they are nice. You know, we are all nice because we are together. We always help each other. You know, in these times, we make each other grow in every aspect. So I think it's amazing to have them around. Oh, that's no, my job now. And seeing to be no, like you mentioned, the credit to Janine and the under um, on the twenty, if I'm not mistaken. Now I'm sure in the goal is to play. Of the surprise music from Nigeria. But before we go into that, you saw the team perform at the AFCON in um, Coup de Vert. I wouldn't say anything to the team. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I was uh, amazed when I saw how they played. I know I was really amazed. I was watching from here. I I was really happy because I saw the players with pain and everything. They stick it all. Uh, like Trum Sekon, he tied his feet and uh, he was still running in, on that pitch. You know, this is, these are the kind of things I love to see because. So by you is you are representing the nation, you know, and this is it's amazing to see that 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 kind of feeling that you can be able to fight for the country you love, you know. So to wear the shit clear white kind of means something to that. I and they show it in that in that uh so I, mean, so I think I was really amazed to see the way they played it down. Yeah. So 
you mentioned to stick up something about just like you. When you look at the martial arts, be you feel like, yeah, that guy is doing what I can do. Or you feel like, you mean, you know, when you see someone that play a position, you appreciate what you do more and so can, yeah, it encourages you. It's motivates you to want to gym with. Because that in any way to stay calm, beyond that, no moon, you know, or mirror or any way, you see them, I feel like, yes, is that similar to what I said? Can you really have uh, what uh, Miru, I've watched uh, uh, Trumsey, Carl, I've watched uh, your world, this like me, did you beat us in this fight, Eddie Kayak? Uh, I've seen those players, uh, how they played for Nigeria, they beat it a lot to uh, so them, and I thought they did with heart, they are linked us in the feet. And for me, I think when I see a player playing in my position, I don't so really criticize the player or it was like because I'm a football player, I know how it is, you know, uh, you know. The, the viewers watching always they want to see you do 100% all the time but maybe sometimes in the pitch they don't know you're giving all you can at the moment but these are not just working you know at the moment because sometimes in games you can play and and these don't work you yeah. know that doesn't mean that you're not giving your all for the nation it's just at the moment everything you do at the moment is not working the way you're planning so it's football and uh, I've seen them play it and uh, he's a leader. I, I love the way he plays. I love the way he carries the thing. Uh, for me, I, 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 I really don't uh, feel like, okay, what he's doing now with him because he's unique in his post time and I have my own kind of style to play. And I don't see anybody that have my kind of play in style. So for me, I, I appreciate and I, I would love one day to see that we both play together and enjoy it. And, and learn a lot from them as well. So, uh, before recording a lot, so what should uh, Nigerian fans and um, Slavia County fans be expecting in the coming few years? Yeah, for me, I, uh, I'm open to growth. I'm open to learn, learning new things uh, every day. We take one, one step at a time. I don't rush to, gain, to reach a certain point. So in my own instinct, I will keep working hard every single day of my life and I will dedicate because this is what I love to do. I will dedicate my time to it and I'll keep pushing and I'll keep pushing what I will for in my life. I put God first because uh, he is the one that can take me to where I want to be and uh, I know for sure that the step I've taken in this world already watching and is helping and so uh, that is the most important for me at the moment. So I don't uh, put myself under pressure to like uh, be like, okay, I'm going to be. No, 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 no. I just believe that, you know, in timing, everywhere I'm going to be, I'm going to reach when it's time for me to live it. What will we'll be advice to you on coming from gas? Yeah, uh, I would say to the young coming footballers, um, football is uh, is fun to play. But at the same time, it requires a lot of work and discipline. So for them, I think they should always listen to the people that are ahead of them. Sometimes it might look easy, but when uh, they in their life, they need to learn to be able to reach a certain place. Because if you don't learn, you know, whenever you stop learning, that's when you start dying. Have to learn every single day. There is no place that you feel like, okay, I'm a top player, I'm going to be better. No. Even the top players, they keep still working hard. You can see the likes of their Ronaldo, how they still work. And uh, they have people that train that, but they listen to that. It's not because they want the ball on the other, they don't list it. So I think they should listen. And the other thing they should know that is for them to hold on to God. Because uh, in everything you do, you know, still has to be confirmed first. Heaven. All right. Thank you so much. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you very well.